enough about working from home. Let's talk about working out from home. Let's do this thing! There are a few categories of equipment for home workouts based on your goals, budget and space. We can arrange these categories into a pyramid. I call it the home equipment and training pyramid. The heat pyramid. Deciding your home setup heat level will help you target the equipment and programs you should focus on. I'm not sponsored by any of the brands or manufacturers covered in this video. I purchased everything that I'll show you at full price, so you know my opinion is not influenced in any way. Now that's more like it, Mr. Wayne. Let's get started. Level 1. Body weight only, no equipment. Body weight workouts can yield amazing results. Goals wise, you can build a great level of strength and fitness because almost all body weight exercises are compound movements. Adding to this, cardio programs like HIT are excellent for burning calories. Adding a mat unlocks disciplines such as yoga and Pilates. This is a great place to start with only two real downsides to this level. The first is motivation. A program completely devoid of equipment can get dull after a while. It can be hard to get in a gym mindset without any gym equipment. The second relates to your goals. If you want to build significant muscle size or strength, you will be limited in what results you can achieve in the longer term. But a great place to start if you can't get access to any equipment and a great way to maintain your fitness during short-term disruptions, like when you're on holiday or in a lockdown. Okay, enough austerity, let's level up. Level two, with minimal costs, and no additional space. You can add enormous variety with simple addition of some bands and free weights. Starting with bands. If I was stranded on a deserted island and could only have one piece of equipment, I would take a bag of resistance bands. With bands alone, you unlock a large number of isolation exercises and add resistance to level one body weight work. Bands give you a huge number of upper body resistance exercises, including bicep curls, shoulder press, upright row, bent over rows, and tricep extensions. Additionally, bands can provide more resistance for lower body exercises, such as squats, single leg deadlifts, and everything glute related. There is a variety of them depending on the resistance you want, going from the lightest to the heaviest. We've got a few booty bands, as the name suggests, there to assist with your glutes engagement. Great for adding resistance to abductor exercises, glute bridges and fire hydrants. <laughs> Sitting alongside bands in level 2 are dumbbells and kettlebells. Free weights have the advantage over bands in that they provide more consistent resistance throughout the entire range of motion. They also can get much heavier than bands and can often feel more stable. But they also have a drawback, which is they're much more expensive. They're in level two because they take up minimal space, particularly if you get adjustable ones. We also have some kettlebells. While some people make kettlebells the foundation of their workouts, kettlebells are arguably duplicative to dumbbells. Same weight, different handle. As a result, I put kettlebells in the nice to have category as they can be nicer to hold and wield than dumbbells for some exercises. I prefer them for goblet squats, single leg deadlifts and single arm rows. In levels 1 and 2, everything can be used in the space of the size of a small room and everything can be hidden under a bed or couch when not in use. But what if you have a bit more space and can make a bit more noise? Be very, very quiet. <laughs> Let's turn up the heat to level three, where we start to get into true home gym territory. Enter the true heroes of any gym, the barbell, the squat rack, and the bench. I'll also include a pull-up bar here, although pull-up bars could arguably sit within level two or three. Level three unlocks the kings of strength training, squats, deadlifts, and bench press. These exercises are the foundation of any powerlifting or bodybuilding programs. 
They take up a bit more room and encourage more noise than dumbbells, so they are more suited for the garage gym than a spare room gym. Starting with a barbell. This is probably my favorite piece of equipment at our gym. It feels so nice. I shouldn't say that. I don't want to offend any other equipment here. I love you all. Our bar is an ATX Ram bar from Germany. We've owned a few bars and I can tell you that there is a huge difference in quality between cheap and more expensive barbells. Pricier ones usually have better quality grip, which helps enormously. The bearings are smoother and the finish doesn't chip. I definitely say that it's worth investing in a good quality barbell, one that you'll enjoy using and it will last you forever. Along with a barbell, you'll need some plates. We have rogue bumper plates, which I love. We've got bumper plates as opposed to iron or steel plates so that we can drop them on the floor when we train. These are more expensive than cast iron plates. However, iron plates are not designed for hitting the floor and make a huge noise when they do. However, with a bar alone, there are only a few compound movements you can do, such as deadlifts and shoulder press. To expand your range of exercises, you want some version of a squat rack to be able to do squats, inverted rows, and so on. If you don't have much room to play with, you can get a foldable rack or a squat stand. We went for a full rack as we have a space for it in our garage. Features of our rack is that it has safety bars and a pull-up bar, which unfortunately we can't use due to the ceiling height. The next thing is the bench. You want it for the bench press and a bunch of seated, prone and single leg exercises. Get an adjustable one so that you can adjust an angle and enlarge even further the pool of exercises that are available to you. And get a good bench. You don't want to be sandwiched between collapsed bench under you and heavy weights on top. Pull-up bars. Pull-up bars are fantastic and there are many options for home gyms. Okay. So at level three, you have almost all the bases covered to deliver you fantastic results for any goals that you have. This equipment will allow you to do core resistance training exercises and covers pretty much all the compound movements you would do at the gym. If you want to hit the sweet spot of results, space requirements and financial commitment, I'd say level three is the Goldilocks zone. Just right. But there are two more levels. So why two more levels? Whatever happened to the concept of less is more? Ah, but if less is more than just think how much more and more will be. <laughs> Heat setting level four. Now we are onto some serious stuff. We're talking about the equipment that you would need if you're into bodybuilding. This is mostly the equipment you would use for isolation work to make certain muscles pop. We move away from free weight and start getting into machines. Level four is the category our garage gym falls into. So let me show you my baby. Going in no particular order, let's start with the leg curl and leg extension machine. This one is gold. It's a two-in-one machine from ATX. Before we saw this one, we had a debate whether to get a leg curl or a leg extension machine. It will depend on what area is more of a priority for you. All our machines are plate loaded, meaning they use the same weights as our barbell. Often, the most expensive part of machines is the weight stack itself, so plate loaded equipment can help save you lots of money. There are some benches with attachments for these movements, but benches are quite low and don't easily allow for a full range of motions for quad extensions. The machine we have sits nice and high, allowing me a full range of movement. Let's keep going with leg machines. Please meet our leg press. This is a 45 degree leg press and it's awesome because of its compact size. Leg presses are often massive, which is not super friendly for our little gym here. Our one is nice and compact as the plates load from the very center of the machine rather than hang off the side of it. It does everything that a gym leg press machine does, but it's better because hundreds of people don't sweat over it each day. Next is a CC squat machine, which you use for quads. We originally got this one because we couldn't find a leg press for our gym and wanted a quad machine. This machine is great to add some variety to your leg workouts and it's very compact. Moving on to our cable machine. Cable machines can be quite expensive. So we went for a single cable plate loaded machine. Here you can do lat pull downs, rows, triceps extensions, biceps curls, pull throughs and so on. 
As you can see, our gym is primarily for strength training. But the other thing we've got here is a bike for cardio work. I really don't like running and I'm not great on the road. I use a program called Zwift in which there are different workouts and maps you can choose from. The resistance on the bike changes based on the environment. It works perfectly well for either a leisurely steady state cardio or high intensity interval training. And that rounds out our gym at level four but there's still another level. Please be gentle with this, Jeremy, and not a yob. Power! Before we get there, there are two more items I'd like to mention that aren't really fitness equipment, but they're important nevertheless. Mirrors and flooring. You don't need a mirror wall, but any full-length mirror will be helpful for you. To monitor your technique, make the space you're in feel bigger, enable you to pose, and look at your muscles, obviously. To help save your free weights, your floor and neighbor's ears, you want to invest in some of this stuff. These mats are amazing. They're made of virgin rubber, look great and don't smell. Don't buy the cheap interconnecting puzzle foam stuff from Amazon. It might be good for putting your infant child on in their playpen, but it's not good for lifting weights on or even doing abs on. Use a yoga mat for that. For everything else, get something that is heavy and durable so that it doesn't move around and doesn't overly compress when you're walking on it. Let's do this. Level five. If you have unlimited space and budget, you can have a lot of fun and go to town with selecting all of the equipment that you like. We're talking commercial grade equipment, different machines for the same muscle groups, which target muscles from different angles. This is bodybuilding and isolation heaven. At this point, you're most likely either running your own gym, training for elite competitions, have a ton of cash, or are an internet fitness sensation. Either way, if this is an option for you, you probably couldn't care less about the heat pyramid. For level five home gym goals, check out Gigi Mufu's new gym. That's it guys. As with many things, where you are in this pyramid depends mostly on the amount of space available to you, your budget, and obviously your level of gym obsession. In any case, if you're watching this video, hopefully you're interested in training regularly. And this is the most important thing, regardless of how much or how little equipment you have at your disposal. So well done. To make things easy for you guys, I'll be publishing more workout videos for each level of the pyramid. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get notified of these new workouts as they come out. I love hearing from you guys, so let me know in the comments which level of workout you'd be most interested in doing with me. See you next time. Heat training. I call it the home equipment and training pyramid. The heat? Heat. The heat pyramid. Was it right? Heat. Heat. Why do we choose the word that I can't just say? <laughs> Next is a sissy squat machine. Sissy would mean boobs in Russian. It's like a silly word for boobs. Boobs is a silly word for boobs. boobs. <laughs> oh God. The heat pyramid. Heat. 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 <laughs> they came with a bunch of different attachments. So they, come. they come? Yeah. They come with a ban... They come with a ban... They come? They come. Kettlebells are arguably duplicative. Dupli Kettlebells are arguably dupli duplicative. Duplicative. Dupli dupli duplicative. Duplicative? Really? Duplicative? English! Again? Heat. 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 My eyes twitching now.